place stood by lockers, charting a support above your belongings. You closed your locker door and turned around only to flinch hard and feel your nerves spike. As you find Jungkook standing in front of you, your heart raced as you tried to compose. Yourself knowing that no one, not even Lily, knew about your crush on him. Your breath caught in your throat as you met Jungkook's gaze. Your hands trembling slightly at his unexpected presence. You cursed yourself for being so obvious in your nervousness whenever he was around. Hey Wine, sorry to bother you, but could I borrow your math notes? Professor asked me to get them from you. Your heart fluttered at Jungkook's warm and friendly voice, but you couldn't shake the feeling of butterflies fluttering in your stomach. You turned around and fumbled with your notebook, your cheeks flushing with embarrassment. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, here you go. You handed over your notebook with a shaky hand, your heart pounding in your chest. As Jungkook thanked you and left, you let out a shaky breath as you leaned against your locker, trying to calm your racing heart. Meanwhile, Lily observed the interaction with keen interest, noticing the way your demeanor changed in Jungkook's presence. She couldn't help but feel a pang of curiosity about your feelings, but she respected your privacy and didn't say anything. Lily watched your reaction closely, her mind buzzing with questions. She wondered what was going on inside your head. In the next day at university, as you and Lily walked through the corridor, your gaze flickered towards Jungkook who was approaching. However, his attention seemed to be on Lily who greeted him with a sweet smile. You couldn't help but feel a twinge of suspicion at the exchange but you quickly brushed it off. Your heart sank as you watched Jungkook and Lily interact, your mind racing with questions. You couldn't shake the feeling of doubt that yawned at you but you pushed it aside, unwilling to entertain the possibility of betrayal from your best friend. Just as Jungkook passed by you, he paused and turned towards you with a polite smile. Hey Vine, sorry, I couldn't give you the math notes yesterday. Would it be alright if I gave them to you some other day? Your heart skipped a bit at Jungkook's words, your cheeks flustering with embarrassment at his consideration. You quickly nodded, trying to mask your nerves. Oh yeah, sure, no problem at all. Your voice came out slightly shaky, betraying your inner turmoil. You forced a smile, hoping to appear calm and collected in front of Jungkook. With a nod of thanks, Jungkook bid you goodbye and continued down the corridor, leaving you and Lily in his wake. Your heart is pounded in your chest as you watch Jungkook walks away, your mind swirling with a mixture of excitement and anxiety. You couldn't help but feel a sense of longing as you watched him disappear from sight. Your feelings were him stronger than ever. In the classroom, you find yourself sitting next to Lily, your thoughts still consumed by the encounter with Jungkook. You tried to focus on the lesson but your mind kept drifting back to the events of the day. Your mind was a whirlwind of emotions as you sat in class, you gazed wandering aimlessly around the room. You couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingering in the air and you find yourself unable to concentrate on the class. Suddenly, during a lull in the lecture, Lily turned to you with a determined expression on her face. Vine, there is something I need to tell you. Your heart skipped a bit at the seriousness in Lily's voice. Your stomach churning with apprehension, you braced yourself for whatever news your friend had to share. What is it, Lily?
Your voice was barely above a whisper as you waited anxiously for Lily to speak. You couldn't shake the feeling of dread that settled in the pit of your stomach, fearing what your friend's revelation might entail. I, I like Jungkook Wine. I have liked him for a while now and I have been thinking about confessing my feelings to him. Your heart shattered into a millions of pieces at Lily's confession. Your worst fears confirmed in an instant. You felt a surge of pain wash over you, but you forced yourself to swallow your own emotions, unwilling to burden Lily. Oh, I see. That's, that's correct, Lily. I'm happy for you. Your words were laced with a bitter undertone, your heart breaking with each syllable. You plastered on a fake smile, hoping to hide the turmoil raising inside you, but you know that Lily could see right through your facade. As the realization of Lily's feelings sank in, you couldn't help but feel a sense of betrayal coursing through your veins you had never expected. Your best friend to harbor feelings for the same person you loved and the knowledge of your shared affection left you feeling utterly alone in your heartache. Your mind was a whirlwind of conflicting emotions as you grappled with the weight of Lily's confession. You felt a sense of betrayal gnawing at you but you knew that you had to bury your own feelings for the sake of your friendship. Despite your efforts to focus, you found yourself lost in thoughts of Jungkook's smile and his request for your math notes. The memory lingered, leaving you feeling both excited and anxious. As the bell rang, you followed Lily out of class, your heart heavy with conflicting emotions. You tried to put on a brave face, but inside, you felt a sense of turmoil. In the crowded hallways, you longed for solitude to sort through your feelings. You couldn't shake the longing that gnawed at you, nor the unease that lingered. Same day in the evening, Lily was in search of Jungkook just to confess her feelings to Ri along with you to support her. After searching for him, they found him near the staircase. Lily excitedly went towards him. While you were just slowly walking and stood behind Lily, feeling someone in front, Jungkook looked up from his phone. Jungkook, can we talk? Lily's voice was steady as she addressed Jungkook, her determination shining through despite her recent rejection. He stood by her side, offering silent support. Jungkook, I wanted to tell you that I really like you. I have had feelings for you for a while and I was wondering if maybe we could go out sometime. Lily's confession hung in the air, her words laced with hope and vulnerability. You held your breath, your heart aching for your friends as you awaited Jungkook's response. I'm sorry Lily, I don't believe in love, no one has ever made me consider it seriously. Dungkook's rejection was swift and decisive, his words delivering a blow to Lily's hope. You felt a pang of sympathy for your friend, your own heart heavy with disappointment. Fine, then why will make you fall in love with her? Lily's words were sharp and biting, her ego wounded by Jungkook's rejection. She turned to you, pulling you into the challenge, despite your silence. Lily, I don't know if that's a good idea. Your voice was barely above a whisper. Your doubts, knowing at your resolve, 
You knew that agreeing to the challenge would only complicate things further, but you couldn't bring yourself to refuse your friend. Jungkook came closer to you. I challenged you to make me fall in love with you in a month. After seeing this, he left from love while you and Lily left too. In the night at your place. You lay on your bed, your mind swirling with thoughts of the evening's events. Despite your best efforts to push them aside, the memory of Jungkook's rejection and the subsequent challenge lingered in your mind. Bring to yourself, what have I gotten myself into? Your voice was barely above a whisper, your heart heavy with uncertainty. You tossed and turned, unable to find solace in sleep as you contemplated the challenge that lay ahead. Why did he have to challenge me like that? What does he expect me to do? Your thoughts raised as a result with your emotions. You couldn't shake the feeling of unease that settled in the pit of your stomach, your doubts threatening to overwhelm you. Sighing heavily, I guess I will just have to wait and see. With a resigned sigh, you reach for your phone, the screen illuminates your darkened room. You couldn't help but blush as you read Jungkook's message. Your heart fluttering with anticipation despite your misgivings. Softly, get ready for the challenge. Tomorrow morning, huh? Your voice was barely a whisper as you read Jungkook's words, a mixture of excitement and apprehension coursing through your veins. You started getting goosebumps after imagining. Tomorrow morning, with a final glance at your phone, you closed your eyes and drifted off to sleep, your dreams filled with visions of what tomorrow might bring. In the morning at university, you were walking towards your locker, you unlocked dead kept books inside and took out the needed stuff, locked the door and turned around just to get pinned on the locker. You instantly closed your eyes due to the force while a voice made you open your eyes. The person was none other than Jungkook. Pinning you again is the locker. Open your eyes, baby. Your heart raced as Jungkook's proximity overwhelmed your senses. You reluctantly opened your eyes, meeting his intent gaze with a mixture of apprehension and desire. Shankar, please, someone will see it. Your voice quivered with uncertainty as you pleaded with Jungkook to release you. You were acutely aware of the dangerous allure he held over you, your heart pounding erratically in your chest. Martin, I don't care honey, don't forget, your challenge to make me fall for you. Now how will you do that if you are this shy? Jungkook's voice was low and teasing, sending shivers down your spine. You pushed against him lightly, trying to regain your composure as you struggled to find your voice. Blushing, I, I will figure it out somehow. Your cheeks flushed crimson as you stammered out a response. Your mind racing with a million thoughts. You pushed past Jungkook and hurried away, your heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and apprehension. He followed you through the way to class and after entering, you went towards your bench but Lily, your bench partner, was nowhere to be seen. You sat on your seat and started looking around to find Lily when you suddenly turned your face towards Lily's side of the bench but got startled to see Jungle closer to your face, sitting on Lily's bench. What are you doing here? 
Isn't your seat in the last row bench? That's Lily's seat. Silent, I taking Panda, look towards my seat. You turn just to see Lily sitting on his bench, waving at you as your eyes met. You quickly turn around, asking him. What is she doing there? She whispers loudly. I guess someone tends to forget the challenge. So as for our challenge, you are my girlfriend and now I wish to sit beside her. He said and sent you a flying kiss but you didn't say anything, being way too shy to even utter a word. Just like this, Jungkook would act clingy as if they were couples. Their bond got stronger and stronger and they always used to stay closer to each other, sometimes in the cafeteria. Ryan and Jungle found themselves sharing lunch together in the university cafeteria. Despite her initial apprehension, Ryan couldn't help but enjoy the easy camaraderie between them. So what's your favorite food, Ryan? Jungkook's question caught Wine off guard but she smiled softly as she thought about her answer. Hmm, I think I would have to say sushi. How about you? Wine's voice was soft, her eyes lighting up with genuine interest as she awaited Jungkook's response. Grinning, sushi? Huh, I like your taste. I'm a big fan of ramen myself. Jungkook's smile was infectious and Wine found herself smiling back. For a moment, all attention and uncertainty melted away, leaving only the warmth of their shared laughter. Wine and Jungkook found themselves studying together in the university library. Their textbooks spread out before them. As they worked through problems together, Wine couldn't help but admire Jungkook's intelligence and determination. Admiringly, Bob Jungkook, you are really good at this. Wine's words were sincere, her admiration evident in her eyes as she watched Jungkook tackle the difficult material with ease. Smirking, thanks Wine, but don't sell yourself short. You are pretty smart too. Jungkook's praise made Wine blush, her cheeks blushing pink at the unexpected compliment. She ducked her head shyly grateful for the distraction from her racing thoughts. Wine and Jungkook found themselves walking together on the university grounds. As the sun began to set, the air was filled with a comfortable silence, broken only by the soft sound of their footsteps. Gazing at the sunset, it's beautiful, isn't it? Jungkook's voice was quiet. His eyes fixed on the horizon as he admired the vibrant colors of the setting sun. Wine couldn't help but agree, her heart swelling with a sense of contentment. Yeah, it really is. You said smiling. Wine's smile was genuine, her gaze drifting from the sunset to Jungkook's profile. In that moment, she felt a deep connection with him, a bond that transcended words. In this one month, you got to know a lot about each other, but you would have this doubt in your heart. And that is, I could not accept it, that's just a challenge and he's not falling in love with you for real. Now tomorrow is the last day of the challenge. Let's see if she succeeds in her challenge. As the last day of the challenge approached, you find yourself filled with despair. Despite your past efforts, you couldn't shake the feeling that you were destined to fail. With a heavy heart, you decide to confront Jungkook and Lily, ready to admit defeat. Gathering your courage, you call them to the backyard, your voice trembling with emotion. I'm sorry Jungkook. I know I couldn't complete the challenge, but I have loved you from the very start. I have loved you with every beat of my heart. You confessed. Your voice barely above a whisper. From the moment I saw you, you captured my soul and I knew that no matter what, my love for you would never falter. 
with the final glance at Jungkook, the first boy you have ever loved, you turn to leave. But before you could take another step, a hand reaches out to stop you. Warmth and me loving your trembling fingers. It was Jungkook. His eyes fell with regret and longing. I'm sorry, love. He murmured, his voice tender and apologetic. It was all a night just to make you confess your feelings to me. Confusion clouded your mind as you tried to process his words before you could speak. Lily stepped forward, her voice filled with understanding and compassion. Didn't you get it, Wyan? Lily said gently, her eyes shining with affection. I have known about your feelings for Jungkook for a while now. I waited for you to tell me yourself, but when you didn't, I knew I had to intervene. This, this was the only way to make you confess. With tears streaming down your cheeks, you looked at Jungkook, your heart overflowing with love and gratitude. He nodded in silent affirmation, his eyes conveying the depth of his feelings for you. With a playful and relieved smile, he gently hit Jungkook's arm before accepting his proposal. And as he poured out his heart in a heartfelt confession of his love for you, you felt your doubts and fears melt away. Finally, with forgiveness in your heart and love in your eyes, you accepted Jungkook's proposal, sealing your love with a tender kiss. And as Lily clapped excitedly, thrilled to see her friend find happiness, you knew that you had to finally found your happily ever after. The story ends with Jungkook pulling you into a warm embrace, his lips pressing against your forehead in a promise of forever. And as you stood together, surrounded by love and laughter, you knew that your journey was only just beginning. Thank you for watching.